So, you want to upgrade your skills in video editing? You want to get familiar with tips and tricks of visual editing skills? You wish to learn about the best spices and flavors to add to your editing workflow for a unique and interesting output? Then, join us at the Maldzan Film Academy's One Week of Creative Editing as we cover storytelling, creative editing, motion graphics, and sound effect. Date is Monday, October the 23rd to Friday, October the 27th, 2023. The time is 3 p.m. daily. Venue is Zoom. Discounted prizes are available for past students of the Academy. Be sure to upload your certificates for proof of membership. To register, use this link on the screen. For more info, send an email to Mount Zion Film Academy at gmail.com or call these numbers. Classes will also be recorded so you can watch at your own convenience throughout the academic period. Mount Zion Film Academy, see you in class. I've reached the top! Ah, so where was I? Oh yes, subscription. Mm. Yeah. Special thanks to everyone that has subscribed to Damalamek Bamelo's YouTube channel. God bless you. And uh, to those about to click it, Jesus is coming soon. There is no time. So please, click right away. And uh, if it hasn't even crossed your mind, why? Why? Over half of those watching are not subscribers. Do I have to tell you why you need to subscribe? Because... Because it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs>
you are threatening the wrong person. How is your son? Did you say that your son is the one running your company? Yes. If he is running your company the way he is running his mouth, then you are in a lot of trouble. We have all failed to bring Sonya down. I've decided to spare our lives upon one condition that we sacrifice our blessed seed. Lord of Jesus! Nero, we have to embark on a three days fasting and prayers for this family, and Eniola must join. I'm not so good at bringing the man home to see me today, and I will just be communicating and speaking to a girl that is about to die. I've lost one child already. I will soon be losing another one. Hello, Aki. My name is Sawyer. Chief Duro Sawyer. What do you want? I am here to show you the way out. You know you are a target, right? I know. You, Martins, your son? Hmm. I know. Why? Because I stood against them. Who? The secret seers of the underworld. Why on earth did you stand against those who brought you fame, power, and wealth? Because it came with a price that I could no longer afford. What was the price? Blood. Blood. I see. But then I found out someone else had already paid the price. Who? my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He paid the price with his precious blood. <laughs> wow. Sonia the ritualist, now Sonia the preacher. Yeah. I'm surprised. Same way I was when I found Saul the persecutor hmm. become Paul the preacher. There's no one Jesus cannot save. Good for you. But what about those lives you have destroyed? The innocent people that you have killed. Your Jesus may have done a good job in changing your name, but nothing can change the fact that their blood is on your hands. <laughs> Do you want to hear the old truth? If the truth will set me free from death, then I want it. Hmm. I was the first in rank, holder of the secret seer, a position so high and mighty. I ruled kings. I decided who was enthroned and who was dethroned. I called the shots in the political space. I was even a mentor to your father. Yes. I brought him into the fraternity. I know everything, everything about him. And why do they want you dead? You hold on, Aki. We will get to that part pretty soon. Hmm. I want to initiate Martins, my son. But he stood vehemently against us. I appeared to him on the third dimension, even turned him into a madman. But still, he resisted us with everything. I came for Martins with everything, but yet couldn't get him. Why? Because Martins dwells in the secret place of the Most High. 
He abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He has surrendered his life to the Lord Jesus and has become a threat to the entire fraternity. Wow. The secret seers of the underworld, they rose to sacrifice my son, but I stood against them. Because he's your son? Yes. Hmm. I had already sacrificed the love of my life to gain the position of the heart of the secret seer. Hmm. Nothing in this whole wild world would convince me to let my son go. And so they came for me. So why are you still alive? Because I ran to the heaven that kept my son. I ran to Jesus. They tried to bring me down. I was unconscious for three years, paralyzed and bedridden. But in the spirit world, I saw them. Every one of them, including your father. They taunted me. They made me suffer. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know who kept me alive? No. My son and his new family. Wow. They kept praying for me, fighting for me. Imagine, the day I was to die, the Grandmaster came to kill me himself. He raised the knife about stabbing me and then I suddenly had a power that I never had. <laughs> I grabbed his hands mid-air, turned it against him, and stabbed him. <laughs> you did that? Yes. They all screamed and disappeared. Hmm. Death came afterwards to take me away. But then, I saw the light. What light? <laughs> What light are you talking about? Jesus. Jesus? Is he a light? He is the light. Death could not stand him. He said to me, Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Hmm. The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who has given us victory through me. Jesus said that. Jesus said that. Yes. By the laws of the secret seers of the underworld, you are already condemned. You cannot survive another week, Akin. By their hmm. next convention, they will just call out your name and you will drop dead wherever you are. I have gotten some protection of my own. <laughs> Look here. Any protection outside of Christ Jesus is bound to fail. But you survived. I survived in Christ Jesus. Open your ears to what I'm saying to you. There are principalities, there are powers, and there are rulers. There are forces in the air, forces in the land, and forces in the sea, they all bow to the morning star, Lucifer. But there is a name that is above every other name. At his name, every knee, every power, every force must bow. And every tongue confess that he is Lord. It is the name of Jesus. That is the name that I stand on. You know you're a target, right? I know. You, Martins, your son? I know. Why? Because I stood against them. Who? The secret seers of the underworld. Sweetheart, are you ready? Yes, so I, I can am. drop you off. Um, okay. Your phone beeped some minutes ago. A message came in. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweetheart, did you... Did I what? Never mind, never mind. 
Okay. Um, who was that? Um, it's one of my friends. Oh, which of your friends? Is he Eddie? You don't know this one. Oh, okay. What does he want? Um, he works at my office. We are having a meeting. Just want to find out when I will be around. Oh, okay. So he sent you a message to know when you are leaving. Yes, yes. Okay. The meeting is coming up this morning, so um, we are running late. Oh. So can we start going? So I will oh, drop you off. Sure. Your laptop. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done terrible things. Slept with different kind of women. Enter into different kind of relationship. My life is empty and pathetic. You know, I, I've always gotten away with this nonsense escapade. But this time around, this time around, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm finished. I don't even know what to do again. No future. Not even hope. So, 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 it, it took the death of somebody before you knew that all what you were doing was wrong. Eh? If, if she had not died, only God knows how many ladies' lives you'd have ruined. Dilly, please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have a sister? Yes, I do have a sister. Then you should ask yourself how many sisters' lives he has ruined. But it's easier to ask God for mercy. You should ask yourself. How many daughters' lives he has destroyed? He's here to ask God for mercy. And that is what is even annoying me. <laughs> Knowing that God will be merciful and forgive and forgive this criminal. Dilly, there were two criminals on the cross with Jesus Christ. One despised him and the other asked God for mercy. Right there and there, even with his bag of sin and guilt and shame, Jesus Christ made him welcome into heaven. Who are we to condemn when, Jesus, when, when Christ has forgiven him? Nicholas, you did not meet her. I met her. I spoke with her. She was depressed because of him. Do you think that it was because of him? Do you know the implication of what she did to us? I know. <laughs> Nicholas, you don't know it. I said I know. Please. What is it? <laughs> she, she will be in hell because she committed suicide. She killed herself. No. No. <laughs> because you made her do it. Because you made her do it. Why are you talking like that? Her blood is in your hand. Dele. Her blood is in his hand. Why are you talking now? like this? Dele. You know, he's right. Jumo, don't mind all that he said. No wonder I've been seeing her in my dreams. Jumo. Yes. No. Don't worry. What have I done? Let, let me go and talk to him. Oh, what have I done? Dele. <laughs> What was the nonsense he just did there, Dilly? Guy, I, I, I can't help but think that he was the reason why we lost Melody. But he's repentant. Those words you said, they were terrible. They, they may be terrible words, but it's the truth nonetheless. The truth? Yes. Oh, you want to hear the truth? Since you are going to play the blame gospel, do you know that you are the one that made Melody lose her life? Me? Yes. So don't even say She came that. to don't meet you. That. She shared her problems with you. You had the last opportunity of talking to her to turn her life around. But you used that to satisfy your good for nothing presidential ambition. Stop. Yes. Please stop. No amount of blame you heap on Juwan will raise your fault from all of this. Don't forget when you point one finger. Three points back at you. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Every day, I, I beat myself because I can't even sleep well at night. I always have dreams of, of melody. And, and now you are saying this. Eh? You are saying this. Billy, <laughs> we are not called to the ministry of accusing the brethren. That's the office of the devil. Our responsibility is to preach the gospel. Anything outside that is not of God. Yeah, you are actually correct. Yeah, you are right. Good. Yeah, now let's go and talk to you. I think we lost him. Hello? 
Hello, Mr. Martins. This is Officer Gabriel. Yes, a quick one. Why are you a target? Why am I a target? Officer Gabriel, I don't understand. Are you familiar with anyone by the name Akin? What is his son's name? I don't know, but I, he's the son of um, one Mr. Gbade. No, I don't, I don't know him. Your father was preaching to him earlier today. My father? Yes, your father went to preach to him and apparently said a lot of things to him. When did your father become a preacher? Officer Gabriel, how did you know all this? Today I found out that my husband, who I thought I trusted, has been going behind me to get stories for his online news. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're married to a journalist? Yes, an investigative journalist. Please tell me this is Mr. Emeka. How did you know his name? <laughs> oh my goodness. Martins, how did you know his name? See, uh, your husband has been stalking me, trying to get information out of me, but I've not given him anything. Well, it's like your father has given him enough to make a great headline. With the information I got this morning, I have enough to bring your father to book. So why haven't you brought him in? I'm taking my time. I want to see what my husband is driving at and how it will favor me. <laughs> wow, it's like you two really fit each other. He wants to play me for a fool. I'll also act like a fool. But wait, how did he get my father? Through our king. Who is Aki? Mr. Gbade's son. Apparently, Emeka was working with him. I can't believe this. He promised never to push this. Officer Gabriel, I've never seen a more desperate journalist like that entity you call a husband. Uh, no offense. None taken. I will deal with him in my own way. See, uh, I'm not someone to interfere with family matters. I mean, what does about marriage? I'm just a, I'm just a lecturer. Back to my question, Mr. Martins. Yes, Officer Gabriel. Why are you a target? I, I, I don't know what is going on. I'm as confused as you are. I mean, what business does um, my father has with Mr. Mr. Gbade's son? I mean, I spoke to my father this morning. He never mentioned anything like, about that. You spoke to your father? Yes, we live together at the same place. <laughs> wow. Have you gotten another father? Or is it the same man we are talking about? Well... Yes, it's the same person. And you guys are in good terms now? Yeah, sure, we're in good terms. I mean, what's up with all this question, Officer Gabriel? Probably my mind is playing tricks on me. But I remember you saying he killed your mother for ritual purposes because he wanted to... Officer Gabriel, that was in the past. All things have passed away. Including your mother's death? Officer Gabriel, my father did all those things. I'm not going to deny that. But if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. My father is a new man. His sins have been washed away. So when you talk to him, you don't see the face of the man who murdered your mother in cold blood? No. I see the face of the man Christ has redeemed with his precious blood. I hear you, Mr. Martins. I hear you. Now I'm back to my question. Why are you a target? <sighs> back to my answer. I don't know. I appeared to him on the third dimension, even turned him into a madman. Emeka, where did you get this audio from? It's Akin himself that sent it to me this morning. But why is he sending it to you? Can't you see that he's also interested in exposing these people? This is the same fraternity that killed his sister. In other words, he's using you. I won't put it that way. I really don't care who is using who. I think we should inform the boys about this and let this thing get out. Why the rush? What do you mean, why the rush? We have a strong case here. Really? You think this is strong enough? I don't get it. Isn't this strong enough? Mm -mm. Come on. You heard the man confessing himself. Hey, Maker, it's not tenable. What do you mean? See, nothing bit hard proof. Yes, uh, this is just an audio recording. It could be anybody's voice. This is Sonia's voice. You heard him introduce himself as the first in rank, the older of the secret seer. <laughs> Emeka, record me. Record me. I don't understand. 
My name is Sonia. I am the first in rank, older of the secret seer. Stop the recording. I don't understand what you're trying to do. Ah, that's Sonia's voice now. This is clearly your voice now. Exactly. What do you mean? <laughs> See, any good lawyer can argue that that audio recording was fabricated and your own story will be flushed down the drain. <laughs> so what are you suggesting? See, if we push this narrative, <laughs> we'll only be getting crumbs. And people are tired of crumbs. They want the real deal. Hmm. You know what I think? If we dig deeper, we'll get the real bread. So how do we do this? <laughs> See, there's still a lot to uncover. I mean, what is the link between Bade and Commando? And why does he want him out of prison? Does he want to raise another deadly cult? And, I mean, to what end exactly? I think the real story is being able to connect Bade, Sonia, Martins and Commando all together in one picture. This is going to be hard. Uh, well, it's also going to be the story of the century. Um, how do I get Commando's story? <laughs> yeah, what if you go undercover? Undercover? Yes. The true test of an investigative journalist. So, you are saying that I should... Take up a different character, infiltrate the cops, and get the first hand gist. Bro, if you are able to achieve this... <laughs> hmm. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> We, we, we are going to be rich and famous. Should we keep this away from the boss? Ah, he doesn't have to know. You know it's too traditional. He will just bury it. Um, you are right about this. So how do I get him? You see, to get into that world, you first have to get out of this world. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, then, uh, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this, bro. <laughs> hey, that's it. We are going to do it. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, Mr. Martins. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm, I'm very fine. Thank you, sir. I hope you were able to read through the document sent to you this morning. Oh, yes, 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 I have. And I also forwarded it to the dean. Uh, and I think she's okay with it. Very, very good. Yes, sir. Very yes, sir. good. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, um, how, how about your father? My father is doing very fine, sir. <laughs> He's yes, sir. someone that I really admire. Oh, wow. I, I, don't, I don't think you know how important uh, Mr. Drusaya is in this country. Oh. <laughs> I dare call him one of the most influential people in this in the whole wide world. Well, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I really desire to meet him. I, 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 I have studied his lifestyle, right, and I came into conclusion that okay. uh, I, I want to make him my mentor. Uh, well, <laughs> he's a powerful figure, and uh, you know who doesn't want to admire power? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but my father is a different man. Different? How? Yeah, well, he used to live a very terrible life. You know, he was into occultism and um, you know all those terrible things. But he's done with that life now, and he's a child of God. <sighs> I mean, um, Mr. Guru say that I know. Yes, sir. He live a very glorious life. Ah, sir. You know, before craving for the glory of a man, it's very important to understand his story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, that, and that is why I need somebody like you to tell me to tell me more about him. <laughs> My father is a new man in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, sir. Ah. Hallelujah. As, as a matter of fact, you know, his sole aim and purpose 
is to win as many people who are under the yoke and oppression of occultism. Mm -hmm. even, even this morning, sir, even this morning, he went to minister to one of the sons of the occult men who was marked for death. The man used to be a very good friend to my father. They were close buddies. But since he found a new path, their friendship fell apart. Mm -hmm. I was told this morning that my father was in his son's house to preach to him, to save him. What? Yes. He's a changed man. Hey. Yes, yes it is, sir. Martins, yes, sir. thank you so much for sharing this insightful word with me. You are welcome, sir. You know what? There is a lot to learn from you. And, and sir, I'm always available to share, sir. Uh, that, that, that is good. All right, <laughs> okay. sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, bye-bye. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, see you. Hey, it's me. Say so I met your son today. My son? Yes, your son. What does he want with my son? <clears throat> From what I could gather, he went to preach to him. Oh my God, oh my God. What is Sayah doing? What is Sayah doing for God's sake? I think Sayah wants to expose everything. I mean everything. The fraternity, the sacrifices, and your connection to several mysterious deaths connected to the rituals. <laughs> that will be the beginning of great trouble. This son needs to be out of the picture for good. Then get your son as fast as possible. There's no time to check time. Okay? Ah, 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 ah. Come on, pick the phone. Pick the phone, you ingrate. Pick the phone. Pick the phone, pick the phone. <laughs> Camela. Okay. What do you want to do? Pillow fight? Pillow fight. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Ready? And ah. <laughs> Seriously? Is this not too early? Hey. You're messing up the whole place. Ah. Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh, Help me! 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 How are you? I'm fine, sir. Now, listen to me. You have spent enough time in Texas. I want you back in Nigeria. To do what? Are you questioning my instructions? You can't order me around. I'm not some kid that you send errands. I have responsibilities here. I have a wife. I have a daughter. I have a home. Look, we are happy. So please don't bring your commanding tones and expect some positive results from me. It won't work. <laughs> you are mistaken. Whatever you think you have, I made it happen. Aki, it was I. Hi, your father, who made you whatever you have. You did not make me. I made you! You did not make me! A river that forgets his sons, we should dry up! You have your family, and I have mine. Your family may mean nothing to you. But family means the world to me. After all I've done for you, you want to turn your back on me? What have you done for me? Tell me, what legacy have you left for me? The only thing you have done is to turn me into your errand boy. Is that what I am to you? Is that your only accomplishment? I am not going to waste words with you anymore. You're leaving for Nigeria, first flight tomorrow. 
I will do no such thing. I have gotten your ticket and you leave first flight tomorrow morning. You lie. What did you just say? You lie. I will never leave my wife and daughter alone to run your useless errands. God forbid. Aki, you just called your father a liar. That is exactly who you are. You will never say that again, I assure you. I will say it again and again and again. You are a bloody liar. A failure of a father. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I knew this day would come. What day? The day you will turn your back on me. The day you will believe you have accomplished so much. But I can't prepare for you. Aki! Yes, sir. Apere kan ki kon washo. Kon kokan ki kon wodo. Oro to ki ti ba bale so. Oni le mbo. Aki! Yes, sir. Aki! Yes, sir. I am your father. And you are my son. Whatever I tell you to do, you do. Yes, sir. You will leave your wife. You will leave your daughter. You will leave everything you have and come back to Nigeria first flight tomorrow morning. After all, you married her without my consent. So when you get to Nigeria, I will get you a wife suitable for you. Yes, sir. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, what's going on? Where are you going to? We're going back home. What about us? Your daughter and I. I'm sorry. Hakim was making you do this. Who? I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? What is going on? What? I have to leave. Leave to where? I'm going home. You're making no sense, Aki. I will, I will not let you go. You cannot leave us. We have a great life here. <sighs> I have to go. You go nowhere. My father needs me. What kind of father would order his son to abandon his wife and daughter and everything he has? Stop telling me you're sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Whatever he tells you are lies, all lies. Do you understand? Aki! Sir? He is a liar! Yes, sir. No, no, no. Tell him to leave your house right now. My daddy said I should tell you to walk out of my house. Look, the struggle you have over his life is broken today. Ah! So yeah, so yeah. How dare you talk to my son behind my back? <laughs> Daddy, you have manipulated him for too long. And I tell you, that ends today. You have no right. You are trespassing, Sonia. Now, get out of that house. My daddy said I should tell you to get out of the you house. You shut your mouth. No, my daddy said you should, you should get out. I don't care whatever your daddy says. Now, you sit down. Soya, get out of that house! <laughs> now you know, my dear, that we have something important to discuss and you are interrupting us. Soya, if you don't get out of that house in the next minute, you will not believe what I will do next. I'm afraid this conversation is over, buddy. What name? What order? What authority do you have to be talking to my son? 
I stand on the authority of Jesus Christ who saved me from darkness. Your hold is broken over him today. Stand up! Good day. What just happened now? Your deliverance just happened. Now, where were we? Ah, ah, ah. Sonia, Sonia, you will regret this. I will come for your son. I will ruin him. I will destroy him. I will ruin everything he has ever achieved. People like you and my father should be jailed for life. I find it difficult to wrap my head around the fact that a man like you can end up a preacher. So forgive me if I'm not buying what you're selling. Mm. When I think about my past, I am saddened by the things that I have done. Nothing you tell me can change the truth about you, Chief Sawyer. What exactly is the truth about me? You murdered your wife. Admit it. My wife was just one of the several people that I have killed, Akin. Yes. So what gives you the moral ground to preach to me? Jesus. Jesus gave me the ground through his death on the cross. Christ has blotted out my sins and transgressions and he has nailed them to the cross. Yes. The cross is not for people like you. The cross is for anyone who believes in Jesus. Yes. You're trying hard to run from the man you used to be. You really want to put that man in the grave. I was in the grave for three years. Jesus was in the grave for three days. And yet he rose up on the third day. I resurrected because Jesus empowered me, I think. What you're saying does not make any sense to me. Hmm. Aki, listen to me. There was a man in the Bible called Lazarus. He was dead and buried for three days. His sister sent for Jesus. You know what? Jesus got to the scene and met people crying. He wept with them and then commanded the stone to be rolled away. Then he shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who was dead came back to life. The Bible says, if the spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me, he that raised Christ from the dead will also give life to my mortal body. <sighs> Quote all the scriptures you want, Chief Sonia. If you're not locked up in a prison cell, all your words will fall on deaf ears. If Jesus sends me there, I will gladly go with all my heart. I will be an ambassador for him. I will even free more people for him. Aki, you are in the prison yourself. You are not free. Look at you. You are scared. You're just waiting for the death sentence. And you know that it can be any time from now. Eh? So you're saying Jesus can save me from this sentence? Yes. Yes. If he saved me, he can definitely save you. Then what do I need to do? All you need to do is just believe in your heart that he died for you. And confess with your mouth that he is Lord. This Jesus is a righteous man. I have done so many wrong things. I've hurt so many people. I'm sick. Not physically, but emotionally. Hmm.
Jesus did not come for the healthy. He came for the sick. He does not want any man to die. Jesus wants everyone to come to repentance. Jesus is rich in forgiveness. He converted Saul from being a persecutor to being a preacher. Just the way he converted me. Hello, Dad. Benro, I beg you, please don't joke with these instructions from God. There is no cause for alarm. Everything is under control. I'm going to marry my fiancé. And I'm sure that you'll be there. And we will have our honeymoon in Dubai. And there is nothing any devil can do about it. <laughs> um, do you remember the story of the birth of Jesus? And what about it, sir? When Herod was furious and wanted to kill baby Jesus, God appeared to Joseph in a dream to flee to Egypt with baby Jesus. Joseph took Mary and Jesus to Egypt to live there to escape the wrath of Herod. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus stayed in Egypt until Herod died. What's the moral of the story? When God wants to protect his children, he gives them specific instructions. Hmm. Disobeying those instructions is going out of the shadow of God's protection. Bero, you are enjoying life now. Everything is looking good and easy. Don't think for once that the devil is happy with your joy. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a royal lion, is walking about, seeking for whom to devour. Okay, sir. Tell Eniola to give me a call. Okay, sir. Bero, tell her to call me. Dad, why the emphasis? I will. Because I know you, you won't listen to me. You are only agreeing to what I'm saying because you want me off the phone. Eniola must call me before this week runs out. Dad, please. I have an appointment to catch up with. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Okay, okay. It's few days to the convention, Colombo. Buddy, I find it extremely difficult to look at my daughter in the face. Then don't look at her. What kind of advice is that? Is that the kind of advice you should be giving me? What is the point of looking at a dead face? My daughter is not dead. She will be, Kolakpo. We both know she will be. I've cut ties with my own son. Because I can't bear to be looking at the living corpse. Daddy, you are pathetic. So are you. See, in a few days' time, all shall be well. Will it? I'm sure that was what Sonia thought when he sacrificed his wife. Then, they came for his son. <sighs> Sometimes. I envy Sawyer. Why? He is a free man, buddy. A free man. I want, I want his freedom. At what cost? At what cost? His dignity is lost. His honor is lost. It's pathetic. He's empty. Eh? He has lost everything. He's a walking shadow. Buddy, you have just described us. What? Where is our honor? Where is our dignity? Don't you feel empty? Don't you feel pathetic? I don't know about you. I'm just a shadow of myself. What do you know? My son's death will not be for nothing. 
I will come for Sonia and his son with everything I've got. I will be the ghost that haunts him in his sleep. I will dig the grave of Sonia. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. Oh, J1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, that idiot. That guy owe me money now. Where can we find him? Why are you so concerned? Is the guy owe you money too? Please, Please just where's yeah. his room number? Yeah. He should be in his room. Say, maybe we go there, maybe we be down together. And <laughs> this blood, this blood, this blood, this blood. <laughs> <laughs> I killed her. I killed her. I don't deserve to live. There's blood in my head. There's blood in my head. I don't deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. I killed her. She died. She died. She died. There is blood in my head. There is blood in my head. But she made a choice, Duwon. I am making my choice! I am making my choice, Duwon. Choose life. I beg you, please, choose life, Duwon. <laughs> Anytime I try to clean it, it will go up. Duwon, listen to me, Duwon. <laughs> no matter how terrible your life is, Jesus Christ can save you. He said in his word, though your sin be as red as scarlet, I shall make it as white as snow. Though it be as red as scripting, I shall make it like wool. Duwon, Jesus Christ can save you. I don't believe you! Do you know, I believe this! Do you know, I believe this? Come back inside! I'm going to end it right now! And it is too late! <laughs> You're not too late. Ah! 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 What was that you were saying, Bade? What was it that you heard? Is... Is... Aki... Dead? No. We... We... Aki... Die? That I was hearing that the death of her son will not be for nothing. That what is going on? What will be? Will be? No, no, brother, my son will not die. What will be? Will be? Oh. 
of our mind. That funny. <laughs> The whole I have done. <laughs> Ladies that have rolled on campus, this city that I've messed up. Are you, are you saying that when I come to Jesus, you will receive me? Jumon, you know what the Bible says that. Anyone who comes to me, he will never drive away. But I feel condemned already. That voice of condemnation is from the devil. Uh, but it, it came from you. No, it came from the devil. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes he speaks through people, even believers. But you have to decide whose voice you are going to pay attention to. <laughs> the voice of God or the voice of the devil. If, we, if Jesus forgives me, I can't forgive myself. <laughs> Jesus said in his word, Behold, I stand at the door. And I am knocking. If any man hears my voice, I will come in and eat with them and deal with me. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart, John. All you have to do is to open the door. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. <laughs> Jesus! I open my heart to you, please. Jesus, call me into my heart. My daughter. Baba, I've been ready. I've taken him off. Oh. Who? I don't know where they have taken him to. Who are you talking about? They want to use him for sacrifice. Help me, Baba, Kero. Uh, calm down. Who exactly are you talking about? My son. My son. Please save him. They are about to kill him. Oh, ah, Jesus. How can we find him now? I don't know. I don't know. I have checked. His house is not there. What is his name? Ah. Ah. He must not die. He must not die. Tell me what is his name? Uh, Murenike. Just calm down. Jesus is in charge, eh? Don't worry. <laughs> you see, all I want to know is the name. What is his name? Papa Bingo. Let me introduce you to my new convert. His name is Akio. Ake. How did you know my name? Hope.
hopes and dreams in the heart of every man There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other Jealousy, envy and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover But as for people of God standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails Far beyond the darkness and over all principalities And far beyond the present evil that we see That is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures But as for people of God Standing on a new reality A solid rock that never fails There are kingdoms in this world.